Hey everybody, welcome to the Midships Minutes. Today we are talking internet on Carnival Cruise Line. There's a new development and I'm gonna give you the full list of all of the Carnival Cruise Ships where you can find Starlink, high-speed internet at sea. If you've ever cruised before, you know internet can be one of the biggest pain points on any cruise. And with Starlink rolling out across the Carnival Corporation, well, internet access is about to get much easier and much better on your next cruise. So, your next Carnival ship equipped with Starlink? Let's find out. This article comes from Cruise Radio by Doug Parker himself. Shout out Doug Parker. 11 Carnival cruise ships unleash Starlink maritime high-speed internet. After Carnival's January announcement that it was adding Starlink maritime high-speed internet across its entire fleet, the cruise line released a list of 11 ships already equipped with faster and more reliable Wi-Fi service. If you're ever on a cruise ship, on one of the top decks, if you look up and walk around and you see a bunch of dishes, usually square dishes, that are all kind of arranged in an array, those are how the ship receives their internet if they have Starlink service. It's very cool. This is what it looks like. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen. So let's get into what Carnival ships exactly have Starlink service right now. And it should be no surprise that the newest flagship of the fleet, the Carnival Celebration, already comes equipped with Starlink. Followed by one of the oldest ships in the fleet, the Elation, the Magic, Panorama Pride, Sunrise, Sunshine, Valor, Venezia, some people call it the Carnival Parmesan, the Carnival Vista, and the Mardi Gras. So most of the Carnival fleet here is already equipped with operating Starlink internet. And I can tell you after using the Wi-Fi on the Carnival Celebration just a couple weeks ago, absolutely fantastic, beautiful. I was able to upload two to three gigabyte, gigabyte, video files to YouTube in 10 minutes or less. It was really good. It was a great experience overall. I'm looking forward to Starlink rolling out on every cruise ship moving forward. I think this is the way forward. Imagine, we now have access to broadband speeds anywhere on the globe, basically. In the middle of the ocean, we can get a ripping fast internet. This is a game changer, not only for cruisers, but for humans as a whole. Featuring download speeds from 100 up to 350 megabits per second and upload speeds between 20 and 40 megabits per second, the service is expected to be better than the Wi-Fi on land that you probably have at home and will be accessible even in remote areas at sea. While cruisers will undoubtedly welcome this news, the SpaceX dual satellite network also offers a practical use for crew members on ships. With it, cruise operators can improve communication between onshore and offshore departments, operational efficiencies, and safety by enabling functionalities like real-time monitoring. Something cool, and I wonder if this is related to Starlink. If you go on the Carnival Celebration on Deck 7, kind of near the, uh, the Emeralds 1392, Emeralds Beast, whatever it is, uh, They've got this big touchscreen board that you can see the location of all of the ships in the Carnival fleet real time. You can click in on them, figure out where they're going, what they're doing. It was really cool to see that. Oh, look, here's one of those Starlink arrays I was telling you about. Yeah, don't stand too close to that. You might, uh, might get microwaved. I'm kidding, of course. The initial costs of Starlink Maritime are costing cruise operators several thousands of dollars, but surprisingly, long-term costs are significantly lower I think Doug means then the current traditional old fashioned satellite internet at sea. Now these arrays, I can tell you cost a pittance compared to what cruise operators used to have to pay to install satellite internet on these ships. These big old domed balls on top of the ships. Gone are those days. It's just a small, simple array. Hooking up a cruise ship to Starlink entails a one-time installation fee of just 10 grand plus a monthly subscription of five grand. Think about that. Every single person that gets internet, which is pretty much everybody on the ship, they're paying what? 15 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day. These costs are covered in the blink of an eye. The very first day Starlink operates every month. Their costs are more than covered. They're already making tons of money. In contrast, traditional cruise ship networks cost up to 150 thousand dollars a month now i've done the math on other cruise ships and wi-fi alone 
boy, it can make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars for cruise lines uh, very, very quickly. Starlink Maritime makes much practical sense from a financial and technical standpoint. It's no wonder that all the major cruise operators and more niche cruise operators are adding the technology to their list of amenities. If you're sailing with any of the following cruise lines in the near future, you might get to experience Starlink yourself. And here is the whole list. I'm gonna skip some of these smaller operators. We'll talk uh, Carnival, which includes IATA, Costa, Holland America, Cunard, p and Princess, some really nice cruise lines, Norwegian, Oceana, Region 7 Seas, Royal Caribbean Group, Silver Sea, Celebrity. There are some big names. Most of the big names are going to Starlink. It wouldn't surprise me if uh, MSC got with the program one of these days and also hopped on the Starlink train. I mean, imagine that you're saving $145,000 every month, it's over a million dollars a year. It just makes sense to drop the old satellite internet and do Starlink. These companies will have Starlink on board their ships by the end of this year, or they may already have some of their ships already equipped. Remember Norwegian equipped the breakaway on a trial basis six months ago now, it seems like. So that's it's already rolling out on those fleets. Royal Caribbean has Starlink on a lot of ships. I've already seen the arrays. Now, Carnival Corporation first announced they'd be installing Starlink in January of this year. So some really cool news coming out from the more tech savvy side of cruising. Now, internet, it's just a way of life. Although I know there are some of you out there in the midships family that, well, sadly, you, uh, sadly for me, because I like when you watch my videos because, well, I get a paycheck from them, thank goodness. It could be good, it could be bad, but a lot of you like to cruise just to get away from it all. So maybe the Starlink internet is not for you, but for those of us who make a living or just like to be connected, this is a huge deal. Hey, thanks so much for checking in on this Midships Minutes episode. Please make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Coming up here in a couple hours, well, it's the flagship Midships Cruise News. We'll see you then.